Welcome to our Science and Technology Briefing program. Today, we have some exciting news to share. First up, Oracle is making a massive leap into the cloud by investing over $6.5 billion to establish its first public cloud region in Malaysia. This investment is part of a larger trend where major tech companies are pouring funds into digital infrastructure across the country, driven by the increasing demand for artificial intelligence and cloud services. In other news, we celebrate a remarkable milestone as Jimmy Carter becomes the first former U.S. president to turn 100. Despite being in hospice care, Carter remains politically engaged and continues to inspire many with his humanitarian efforts. Tributes poured in from current and former leaders, highlighting his moral leadership and significant contributions to global peace, which earned him a Nobel Prize. Lastly, a new AI-generated nature walk has been launched at Urchester Country Park to raise awareness about climate change. This innovative trail showcases the impact of climate change on migratory patterns and encourages visitors to interact with nature in a unique way. With the trail being accessible for wheelchair users and designed to inspire thought about environmental impacts, it's a fantastic initiative for both education and enjoyment. Please stay tuned for more detailed content. Japan Times reports that Oracle is set to make a significant investment of over $6.5 billion to establish its first public cloud region in Malaysia. This announcement marks a major step in the growing trend of global tech firms investing in Southeast Asia, as companies like Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Google have also committed substantial funds to enhance digital infrastructure in the region. The establishment of cloud facilities aims to meet the surging demand for artificial intelligence and digital services, further propelling Malaysia into a technological hub. Yahoo US shares the heartwarming celebration of former President Jimmy Carter's 100th birthday, making him the first ex-US president to reach this remarkable milestone. Tributes poured in from current and former leaders, including President Joe Biden and Barack Obama, who praised Carter's enduring legacy of service and humanitarian efforts. Surrounded by family and friends in his Georgia home, Carter enjoyed a small celebration with cupcakes and a flyover of World War II planes. Despite his health challenges, he remains engaged with the upcoming presidential election, expressing eagerness to cast his vote for Kamala Harris. According to BBC, a new walking trail at Urchester Country Park in Northamptonshire has been created using artificial intelligence to raise awareness about climate change. The trail, designed with input from local wildlife data and community insights, features unique waymarks that also serve as butterfly habitats. The project aims to inspire visitors to explore new paths and reflect on the impact of climate change on migratory patterns. This innovative initiative not only highlights the changing landscape but also encourages sustainable practices through art and nature, showcasing the intersection of technology and environmental awareness. Australian Broadcasting Corporation reports that Brisbane Lions coach Craig Starcevich is calling for increased transparency regarding the AFLW's controversial score assist technology. Following a significant error where Gold Coast's goal was wrongly overturned due to a failure to review all camera angles, Starcevich emphasised the need for better communication between umpires and off-field officials to enhance understanding for players, fans, and coaches alike. He expressed frustration over the lack of clarity in the decision-making process describing the situation as a mystery that needs resolution. The AFL acknowledged the mistake but did not provide adequate insights into the technology's workings during matches, leaving stakeholders in the dark. In another report by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, the Gold Coast Council faces scrutiny over a massive sewage spill that released approximately 450 million litres of raw sewage into the Albert River. Queensland's Environment Department accused the council of misleading the public regarding the spill's long-term impact which occurred over a three-month period. Despite the council's assertion that there would be no additional costs to ratepayers for the required improvements, the Environment Department mandated a $2.1 million plan to enhance infrastructure and monitor water quality. The investigation revealed that the spill drastically affected the river's oxygen levels, creating a dead zone for aquatic life, and raised concerns about potential long-term environmental consequences. The BBC reports that Northern, a rail company in Northern England, is set to introduce sign language announcements on all its services to enhance accessibility for passengers with hearing impairments. Following a successful trial that utilized British Sign Language, BSL, interpreters on trains, the company plans to roll out this technology fleetwide next year. The initiative aims to boost passenger confidence in rail travel by providing clear communication about stops, cancellations, and delays through onboard screens. With a growing number of individuals using BSL as their primary language, Northern's chief operating officer highlighted the positive reception of this trial and the commitment to making rail travel more inclusive for all.
BBC. Sargentson's, an aluminium foundry located in Coventry, has been awarded a significant £6 million grant aimed at enhancing its operations. This funding will enable the company to hire more staff, acquire new equipment, and establish a more efficient recycling network. In collaboration with prestigious partners like Aston Martin, Sargentson's is embarking on a research initiative focused on creating lighter vehicle components using 100% recycled aluminium. This innovative approach not only promises to make vehicles more sustainable and cost-effective but also ensures they maintain optimal performance. The integration of artificial intelligence in designing new chassis components for Aston Martin models is expected to significantly cut development costs. Gavin Shipley from Sargentson's expressed optimism that this research could serve as a model for other industries striving for greater manufacturing efficiency while being environmentally conscious. BBC. During a recent visit to Herefordshire, the Duke of Edinburgh engaged with veterans, students, and apprentices, showcasing his commitment to supporting local communities. Prince Edward's itinerary included a visit to the New Model Institute for Technology and Engineering, NMITE, where he interacted with students showcasing their engineering projects. He also toured Home Lacey College, where he explored the new low-carbon technology training center and met apprentices in the Farriery program. The highlight of his visit was at the Herefordshire Veteran Support Center, where he officially opened a new building and connected with veterans like Mark Griffiths, who shared his experiences from the Parachute Regiment. Griffiths noted the significance of the Duke's visit, emphasizing the moral and mental support provided by the center, which plays a crucial role in helping veterans adjust to civilian life. The Duke's presence was warmly received, reinforcing the bond between the royal family and those who have served in the military. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Turn the lights on screen, what's the latest scene? Just you and me, laugh and disagree. On the couch we sit, talk about the hits, news and bits and bits, chat through all the fits. Sister Gucci. Good job.